Welcome back to my $50,000 bankroll challenge. All right, if you're just joining us, we've been doing this um, since the start of about August, where we've been playing uh, two shoes of double deck, and I've been uh, doing two of these videos each week. All right, there's the first one that comes out, so they both come out the same day. One comes out on my YouTube channel, one comes out on my Patreon, um, and then uh, eventually they're both on YouTube. So if you're not quite sure where we're at, the last several videos, last all of them, should be on YouTube now. But here are the rules and the bet spread that we've been using. So if you need to pause the screen here, you can to check those out. All right, I've used a Blackjack Apprenticeship to come up with all these numbers and the bet spread, so it is exact. All right, however, last week, if you watched that video, you realized we took a massive downturn. We were up um, at one point as much as almost $54,000, just a little bit less. And we've actually dipped down below our original $50,000 bankroll. And because of that, um, that's, I guess I should say that's within the realm of the, uh, the scope of where we could be uh, based off of uh, one standard deviation and things like that. So it's not totally uncommon However, since we're going to play till the end of this year, this uh, 2024 here, um, we sh hopefully by the time we get to there, we'll be above our $50,000 again. All right, so I'm going to get you uh, the correct amounts. Those are the wrong chips. How about these ones? Uh, we have $10,000 chips, so that's $40,000. And then let's go $45,000, $46,000, $47,000, $48,000. And then stack of 10 black should be $49,000. 49, what do we need? 950. So 20 of these should be 500. Just to show that, now these are in groups of four. So that was um, 58, 59, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900 and then we need 50 so i'll do two more green like this all right all right let me get those for you i'll get our cards shuffled up and then we will get started all right like usual this last little chunks can go right here in the middle and then the dealer is going to ask you to cut the cards so you can cut those wherever you want all right, however, we're gonna to try to cut off 26 cards as that's what our numbers over here in our uh, sheet calls for. Uh, half a deck, 26 cards. Let's see, I always like to try to judge this correctly and then we'll count out, see if we're right. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty close, all right? What do you guys think? Take a look, have a number in your head. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say right at 26. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 22, 23, 24, 25. All right, so that's one off. Um, our count does call for 26 though, so I'll put another one on there. Got our cut card, our minimum bet of $25 and a burn card, because we'll check our count later. Let's see if we are correct. Playing two shoes of double deck. You ready? Here come those casino type sounds. Get set, well, let's count.
All right, I'll show you my count here in just a second, but this plus the burn card should be the opposites of what I got, and hopefully what you got as well. Um, I think our piles are a little taller than when we started, so uh, we gotta play one more yet, and then we'll uh, for sure see if we won or lost anything. All right, we have one, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, three, four, five, four, five, six, seven, six, seven, six, five, four, three, and still three. So this was plus three, which means we needed minus three, or D three, and it was. It was a minus three there. And so that means our counts uh, were correct, as long as I was judging the discard tray correctly from my angle. It's a little tricky, but um, I think our counts should have been correct. Had a nice high count there at the beginning and then dipped way down low at the end. So anyway, I'll get these shuffled up for us. We'll do one more shoe of double deck today. All right, again, this last chunk's gonna go right there in the middle. The dealer's gonna ask you to cut the cards. Let's cut them way down low. I don't know, try something different. Doesn't really matter though. Okay, and then we're going to try to cut off right around that 26 card mark. I will, I think it's a little thin. Try to put it right where I did last time where I was just one off. We're not gonna count through it, but I would encourage you maybe every time to count through at home, see if you can get it right on the nose at 26 cards, my goodness. There you go. Okay, I think that's right about where I had it last time. You can double check that. Here comes our minimum bet, our burn card, and those casino type sounds. Ready, get set, let's count.
All right, again, I have my count under here. We'll see if that's correct here in just a second, but we were able to pull off that last hand, which I think really helped us. Otherwise, it might've been a losing day. Um, let's count this up, and then this plus the burn card should be the opposite of what you have. All right, let's try it. We have D1, D2, D1, D2, D3, D4, D5, D4, D5, D6, D5, D6, D7, D6, um, D5, D6, D5, D6, D5, D4, D3, D2, and D3. So this was all minus three, which means we needed plus three, which is what I had, right? I changed the minus to a plus this time because that is what um, our bet was, right? So that means that I think those max bets that we had out there were correct. So that account got pretty high. I think at one time it was about eight or nine, running eight or nine. And the true count was a max bet most of the time, which was nice. All right, I'm gonna get these all counted up for us. We're gonna see how much we won today. All right, pretty good day here. Uh, it looks like we still have our 40,000 in orange, right? 45, 46, 47, 48. These are also in thousands, so 49.50. So we're back above our um, original $50,000 amount, what we started with. Okay, so that's 50 with all that. 51, or not 51, but 50,100, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 52,000, big old win today. Um, 52.1. And then 75, so 52,175. All right, that's a nice big old win. Um, that's why we uh, keep playing. Hopefully we never dip back, back below that as long as we are doing this particular bankroll challenge. Um, if you want access to session 22, that's gonna be available right now um, on my Patreon. The link to that is going to be down in the uh, description of this video and in the pinned comment. All right. Also, um, I've been able to put uh, the even weeks, get that in frame here. Uh, I've been able to put the even weeks on YouTube after about a week or so, largely in part uh, thanks to Casino Supply. All right. They've been a uh, pretty good uh, supporter of my channel because if you use the code A1BJ, you can get all sorts of the products you see here. I don't really want to call them products, but uh, the training supplies maybe, including this card tray is probably what I would get first if I was a beginning card counter. They have double deck and six deck. I know a lot of places don't have double decks where you play, so you might want to get a six deck tray or maybe an even an eight deck tray. I want to say that this six deck tray is right around 750. Don't quote me on that, but somewhere between seven and eight dollars. The chips, uh, chip tray, even the felts, all sorts of stuff like that that they have available for you um, or they're at Casino Supply. Cut card, if you wanna be able to double check, kind of like we are, just at a glance, so you can see like where the dealer's holding the cards. A good thing to train your eye. So, casinosupply.com, use code A1BJ to get 10% off, and then I also get a little bit of a kickback from that, all right? Thank you guys for all your support. Until next time, remember, this is A1 Blackjack. <laughs>